for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff up the Mad Cheese as always. Got a new defense for you guys today. A full scheme I'm going to give you guys. They all are from my Dolphins slash Giants ebook that I put out at the beginning of the year. And they've been in the playbook pretty much the entire year. But I'm going to bring that to you guys today. Because I know since the patch, you guys need some new defenses. This is a really good run defense, pass defense, and blitz all in the same scheme. If you guys want to see more defensive plays, as always, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, let's get right into the formation. The formation itself is the 3 4 odd. I've put out plays from just about every formation in this book so far this year so if you guys want to check them out i'll have links in the description below um, so you guys can find them easily so if you check out the description you'll have a whole slew of plays and then like obviously like i said i have the ebook which i have a ton of more plays in there now if i had to pick a play that i would say is my favorite play in this formation the one that i call the most it would definitely be the pinch dog two press to me cover two is still one of the best uh zone defenses when it comes to pass coverage in the game and it's going to be a really you know a really good base defense for when it comes to the the blitz that i'm going to throw at people so that's definitely number one uh then you also have the pinch dog three which you can see is pretty much the exact same thing it's the exact same defensive front alignment the exact same blitz it just changes coverage now the pinch dog three is going to have its strengths and its weaknesses it's going to be weaker outside against the run than the pinch dog two press but it's going to be better against inside runs than the pinch dog two press because you have a box safety so that's the game you're gonna have to play if your opponent you're really gonna guess between these two plays it's the exact same setup but you have different strengths and different weaknesses between the two plays neither one of these plays though is a really great run defense which is why i'll give you guys two more options me personally i run a lot of cover four quarters i find that cover four quarters is one of the best run defenses in the game especially if people are running up the middle but i also find that if you run cover four quarters it's just a slightly better pass defense for short to intermediate routes which is is something that i think you're going to run into based off of the blitz that i'm going to show you guys so that would be my favorite play but a lot of people also like to run cover for a drop this one here it's probably pretty similar when it comes to the run defense as far as effectiveness but it's going to be a lot better for you know deep passing so that's really once again you have your short intermediate passing defense and then you have your um you know deep passing defense but they're both very good run defense these are the two best run defenses in this package and then these are going to be the two best pass defenses in this package now as always this video is brought to you but my coin sponsors are AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time, all you have to do is check them out. Link in the description below and use discount code MONEY to get 3% off what's always guaranteed to be the cheapest coins on the market. Now, as far as this setup goes, um, number one, you're going to want to change your... Uh, your defensive uh, cornerbacks and linebackers and safety and all that stuff. You're going to show blitz, baseline, show blitz. That's basically going to bring all these linebackers down and basically create a seven-man front. Now, from here, you don't really have to make any adjustments at all. I could leave this just like this, and I'm going to get pressure nine times out of ten. I like to put my user on a blitz and then always want to guess pass. Guessing pass is probably the most important thing because if it's a play action, the outside linebackers, are they're going to come in free most of the time. So if you guess pass, they won't uh, bite on the play action. They won't tackle the running back my mistake and let the quarterback get away stuff like that but then i also want to either make sure i mean if i'm this is not the full set there's two different setups i mean you could send this setup which will get you really good pressure there's also an all-out blitz setup which i'll show you guys here in a second and number one that linebacker in the middle next to me is going to drop right into the uh the bunch i have the opportunity to choose either the running back depending on whether he goes on a route or dropping straight back in the middle which you know something i'll have to make post snap once i see what the play is going on uh but this is pretty much going to be the play i like the soft squats too I think they do a pretty good job here. You can see uh, the running back's there, but the soft squats takes it away. To me, the soft squats do a pretty good job of covering short or deep. But we'll go ahead and we'll do that again. Like I said, show blitz, base line, show blitz. That will bring all your uh, linebackers down. And then, like I said, you have really two options here. You could either just blitz your own guy, uh, try to stay home for about a half a second, you know, try to pull this uh, guard, and then drop back into, like I said, either the running back or the... Uh, we do get a run play here. I'm glad we got a run play because, like I said, this is not a good inside run play defense, and that's exactly what that was. So that's why, like I said, you're going to have to be Johnny on the spot between that, the pinch dog three, and the cup four quarters. But the setup for all three of these plays are going to be the exact same. So let's go and let's do that again, although there I didn't even get to do that because they just called the play. But like I said, cover two is not a very good inside run defense just based on the fact that the safeties drop back. So you really can get pressure from this setup, but you also have the option to just flat out just blitz all. If you do that, 
you also have, um, you know, this will give you a really good opportunity when it comes to, um, you know, basically you're gonna get much more pressure. So this is still a scenario where I either wanna, I typically wanna use the guy over the uh, running back, uh, but that, I mean, that's just for pressure package reasons, but ultimately, you know, it's really your choice whether you want to use him or use the guy over here next to the bunch. I find that the pressure gets in better if you use the guy over the running back. So like I said, this is going to be on me to get back. We already saw how, you know, that soft squat takes care of the running back. So we're going to bring our guys in. Blitz all. I mean, that's really the most you have to do. Everything else is pretty good. Um, and then, you know, ultimately, I'm in a position where, like I said, I got to drop back on that slot receiver. Um, you know, close to the line, it looks like a tight end. I'm not even really sure, you know, but if, as long as I, you know, stay home for like a second, you can see both guys come in off the edge. So very consistent blitz. Let's go to the replay to watch what happened here. Like I said, you might have a short throw to this guy. You really can choose pre-snap whether you want to be, uh, you know, which inside linebacker you want to be, um, as it's not really letting me uh, control where I'm going. But you got two inside linebacker choices. I mean, I chose this one because I can basically take away the tight end over the middle or the running back. And then you can see it really doesn't matter. I mean, he has six guys blocking, and I think we're sending six. And you can see even the running back missed the guy right in front of him. So a lot of times that'll happen. The running back is blocking, but he'll just whiff. And I'm not really sure what that's based off of. But like I said, it's a six on six, and we got two guys coming in free. But you could also do this out of the pinch dog three. Now, this particular defensive package, as I'm messing everything up here, let's go ahead and let's show blitz, base line, show blitz, get our guys in the place where they need to be. And then, like I said, you can show this look and just leave it like this, have your opponent throwing into it. Or you could uh, run it like this. Like This is a perfect you know, formation for this because it's not like this cover three safety is going to get beat deep by a tight end. Um, I could just bring this guy over to basically take that away. Um, and I could leave these guys all in the all-out blitz, too. I mean, I could, I, if I have time, I could try to repurpose uh, Roe. But ultimately, he's, you know, that's something where I, I, I would say it makes more sense just to hard flat him uh, because, you know, the running back is more of an issue. So we could just basically run it just like that. I got to get back onto these um, onto these guys right here. You can see we just get that Ole uh, defensive outside linebacker just rushing right around the, court, uh, the edge once again. Let's go, let's watch that. Like I said, I think it's best to probably use the guy in front of the running back, but since I pretty much have to get back pretty quickly into this area to take away any short throws, you can see nothing's really, nothing's immediately open, uh, but you can see, I mean, this is something where it's the exact same effect, same exact uh, blitz. You can see this guy just comes in free, and this time, you know, nothing was open enough, although you can see right there, the hard flat kind of screwed me. If I would have had left that in a regular curl flat, he would have undercut that, um, that tight end a lot better so that's something that's the game you're going to be playing and then last but not least when it comes to cover for quarters exact same setup although i didn't i think i missed one of them there there we go so now we have the exact same setup we're going to bring this guy down into the box um and then this is something where if you're expecting uh you know a run and number one you don't have to do the exact you don't have to blitz everybody but you don't want to guess pass if you're expecting a run if you're using this a run defense these safeties here will drop straight back if you guys pass. But if you don't guess pass, they'll basically just walk straight forward down into the box uh, and try to take away any run lanes. You can see right here, the safety just walks straight forward. So this is going to be one of your best uh, run defenses. Let's go, let's go to the replay here just to show you what I'm talking about. Like I said, these guys here, they react to the run first. So as you can see, the second the play starts, they just walk right down, look for contact, or look to to assess, you know, uh, their 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 run fits, which is something that won't happen if you guess pass. So that's why you know knowing what your opponent is doing or guessing what your opponent is doing is so important because if you see a formation like this, obviously they're going to be you know shooting to that uh, to that running back. So you obviously just want to switch over to your cover too. It's the, it'll look the exact same. You just set your hard flat, and you'll basically take that away. Obviously, I'm getting stuck up on the line a little bit, but you can see, I mean, pretty much everything was covered there as we get another easy sack. So I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more defenses like this, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section as always. Other than that, I'll try to have a little link popping up here so you guys can check out more defensive videos from this playbook or it'll be in the description below. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shout out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like eBooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below. Thank you.